Okay, uh, quick amount day here. <clears throat> Actually, not not too quick. It's another package. Uh, I opened into that one earlier. Um, let's just throw through it as always. Um, should be some good stuff. Oh wow, I'm starting out hot. Say Robert Griffin Contenders 2012. This is the Variation SP. Um, awesome on card. This. This is uh, has a print run of 50, so there's only 50 of this card, and that's, as I've stated in other videos, that's how you know in 2012 Contenders, whether or not you have an SP or not. You don't have the college, the height, the weight on the back right there in that square. This set is very easy to grade. This one looks very sharp, so it could be, it's a candidate to get sent in for submission, and that's just a nice card, so... These have dropped off in price, probably about 30-40% from the price a year ago, but Robert should be back. Let's go through this package. This is some stuff from before. And start off with this awesome on-card Robert Griffin, 5-star, out of 100. It's a clean design. Uh, I pondered buying a box of this stuff, but it's just the, the price point's way too high. I, I think it's well over 500 for a box. God, I, you get like six hits, 12 cards or something. Just too expensive. So that's an awesome Robert. And then a classic Peyton Manning, uh, a 98 Upper Deck Star Rookie. Doesn't look to be gradable. Uh, that's one of the big things you got to look at is that corner on these cards because that's black and that chips. Uh, and then that foil. Look, watch close for the foil on these. These are pretty tough to grade, actually. That's a nice man for 25. This this Robert was 100, and the variation Robert was like 370 or something. There's a Tavon SP Authentic 13 two color patch auto to 325. I love the design of these new SP Authentic cards. I'm waiting for the price to drop on a case, but it's a nice Tavon right there. It was 30 dollars. And then this was like three dollars. Peyton Manning Upper Deck Superpower. It's just an insert. <clears throat> and Giovanni Bernard, awesome patch. This I actually bought the code from a member on Sports Card Forum for this card, and I put put it in the system probably about a week ago, and it already came. So these cards are live, and uh, this one's out of six fifty. A nice patch out of Giovanni Bernard. Let's get to the rest of the mail. Um, that was all bunched together. Stuff that came yesterday. This is today. Oh, that's nice. Oh, wow. 2012 SP Authentic Robert Griffin out of 425. This one's got the one color patch. Um, picked this up on eBay. It's cheap. It was like 85. That's the price of a box, so pretty good. This is cool. This was a purchase off of Sports Card Forum. This was six bucks. And it's a clear cut Kenny Stills auto. Kind of a neat card. The only thing is, it's not numbered. I don't know why they don't number these. It's still a cool card. Um, so it's a nice Kenny Stills. Oh, cool. This is a redemption from Upper Deck. Cool. I set this off two or three weeks ago. It's a sign of the times, Herschel Walker. Very cool card. Nice condition, too. So, this will be gradable. Let's go 
a prop stand. Oh wow, prop stand. Yeah, the back of the corner is kind of dinged up. Tape is cheap. Right there, the, the edge is like bent up almost. You can kind of see it raised up. That's what happens when you don't tape a card in. Negligent. Uh, yeah, I'll send him the video and just have him watch. Um, most of the time he ships pretty well, but this is pretty horrendous. Cool card though, uh, nonetheless. Griffin, not a 75. Valor. Here. Uh, I'll show him how to do it. Just like you secure a card, just tape it there. Last package. This is another sports card for him. That's cool. Patterson patch to 35. I think this was sports card for him too. That one, the rubber. And then a, a C pat. I thought this was numbered to 99. Okay, it's that number. Probably overpaid for these, but so a two card C pat lot. And that will cap out today. Uh, tune in for more breaks. I got some cases coming in, so thanks a lot.